This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss lifestyle stories and, of course, bring you the biggest sentiment stories as well. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my very energetic co anchors Ife Omai and Ife Olu What up? Hi. Hi. That's good. It's all about smite. Especially with the mouth. Mm. Mm. Okay. Get them out. Mm. How do they want to? Are, <laughs> are you trying to close the mouth? I don't understand. Are you trying uh, to hold I'm it? I'm going to be very gentle on mm -hmm. this show. You cannot walk. It's a super mouth. I go up little words. And okay. when it starts, I'll tell you it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on to the first story, Joe. R. Kelly accuses Metropolitan Correctional Centre guards of inciting attack on him by telling other inmates they had to go on lockdown because of Kelly protests outside the prison. He claims he had um, expressed his fears about his safety to the prison guards prior to the attack by a fellow inmate, but they ignored his concerns. Hmm. It's not funny, but it's funny. Mm. Mm. It's not funny. Or... It's not funny and it's not funny. Mm. Because... Um, <laughs> 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 yeah. In, in the sense that um, this is a man's life, mm. guilty or not guilty. Mm. He's seven the time. He's oh, seven. It's not seven is. It's just within. It's he's a witty really, trial, yeah. which is mm. even sure. more. Omashe, well, yeah. but at the end of the day, when they will add all this time to his so time, anyway. Say Omashe. 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 She just said Omashe. Now I said she really So um, I think we should take people's lives seriously, regardless of who it is. How Kelly? Yes, he might be a rapist. He might be whatever, but it's that. They say an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. So, mm. but at the end of the day, no, I mean, you know, I agree with you. Yeah. Like, regardless, he should still get his um, um, treated right. If we all decide to treat people based on what they have done, I don't know how many people will be left. That means we all will become what we are trying to cover anyway. So, I, I feel like if this is really happening, then they need to do something about it and at least not incite, not mm. say things that will make people in the prison decide to hurt him. And yeah. I haven't been to an American correctional facility <laughs> or in Nigeria. <laughs> Be, or no. in Nigeria, <laughs> nor any at all. But one thing that I know from watching movies before. is that they hate sex offenders. Mm. Do you understand? Which is why it's a bit funny. A rapist so, or yeah. a child killer. Yep. You are, you understand? I have they no like sympathy or anything for people who have been um, accused of, who have been sentenced to prison for rape. Um, and I think that I share the same vision with, <laughs> the, guards. with the guards, with the secret, with the prisoners as well. And yes, it is, it is a, it's not just, you know, fiction or whatever. They don't like that. Um, the re one of the reasons why you go to prison is what would determine your experience in prison as well. Like if you go and kill a, a bad cop or something, you'd be like mm. a G or whatever. But then if you either, you know, harm your kids or your, or your wife or a woman or something, then it's kind of looked down upon. So it's not, not nothing new to me. I do take it seriously that he was trying to ask for help for a long time ago and they didn't really take that mm. um, seriously because you can't, I don't, need to, I don't need to expect much from prisoners, no offense to them, but I expect more from authorities. You know, I expect mm. more from people who are supposed to be in charge of mm. the whole place and stuff but it is what it is and like i said i'm so sorry this is not the it's best part of his attitude or whatever yeah. to have but, mm. wow mm. okay. ah, what people it's okay it's right. but moving on disqualified big b ninja pepper them housemates natasha akide popularly known as Sacha, is on a bragging vibe while responding to a tweet from a titan who said tacha doesn't need influencers to trend she dropped a subtle shade stating that she is their leader but her own dear was spelled separately oh, uh, from her own dear it pained so, me for this tweet because you know <laughs> when you had you had such a boom boom <laughs> like ah oh, you know what like the more yeah. opportunity to have to brag you know mm. tear the dictionary like Oh, come yeah, on. I think she said, I am dear leader. I am dear leader. I'm dear leader. <laughs> <laughs> you see, it takes away from the whole just house yeah, story. Yeah, like... Mm. Well, uh, we can't take away the the kind of fan she has. Titans, I don't know. Those no, people are yeah. not slowing not down mm -mm. at all. Mm. I mean, that, that's, that's a it's good been fan base It's been over a year, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So They're still strong. She trends every day. She just drops something and you know, creates a hashtag. I, 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 funny, funny thing that it's a coincidence. I was having a chat with um. Tatcha. Uh, <laughs> no, my girlfriend. My girlfriend. Um. Why do you say the, uh, in inside? What? The this what? Like, <laughs> this girlfriend. It's been a while we heard about this. Oh girlfriend. yeah, I was having a chat with my girlfriend on Monday, and ah. then we we're talking about top five. Evict evicted housemate that are still very relevant. Right. And I said my number one would be able car and what led to that i'll tell you what led to do before you come for me i said my number one would be able car oh, we are not against second ik or 
I K or Circuit Duo now. He was also in yeah, he was also in Big Brother. He was yeah, he was Big Brother Africa, not Nigeria. Okay. So um, I then I said I would go with Tacha mm -hmm. as number three. Then Uti has dropped to number four. Tacha is way ahead of Uti now. Mm. You understand? Mm. And what led to this conversation was I thought. You know the waist trainer adverts mm -hmm. they do on mm -hmm. Big Brother? Mm -hmm. I thought that was Cece's brand. Of, you know, yes, she has a line yes. of waist trainer. I said, that's a boss move. Mm -hmm. I was, because I put Cece at number five. And she was like, no way, Cece doesn't even come mm -hmm. close. I was like, come on, do you know how bossy it is that you were on the show and you're running an that's advert on that yeah. same show? Do you understand? Yeah, and she now said, no, that's it's not, not for Cece. And then she proved it to me. So I think Tatcha is really doing well for herself. Yeah. So she's actually correct about she doesn't need any influence. And before she even went into the house, she's been an she's influencer. Been influencer yeah. So mm -hmm. right yeah, now with she, the yeah. newfound fame, of course, she's mm. their leader. Mm. They, it, has <laughs> it, it has everything to do with her fan base, not about her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they, she isn't really giving you much to hold on to that is extraordinary. But what she was blessed with is extraordinary fans. Mm. These people from the house, I haven't been, well, let's say fortunate, I don't know, it depends on which fan it is that I meet. But I've seen people spend time, hours, convincing me on why I need to jump on board to be a titan, explain her family background and where she was from. This is when the show was still running last year. So I know that there is something about, I, I, it didn't catch me, the flu didn't reach my side, but there's something that these people see about her that becomes really personal. Like, it's not just how I like somebody's music. Like, mm. I, I, we die here, like I'm, I'm all in type of thing. And I don't think everybody has that. Even Tiwa Savage, if you, if you check the thread, mm. Tiwa Savage's name kept popping in because they, I guess they felt like she is their leader. I don't know what it is. Uh, but I think they are doing some form of PR. So those people were just trying to run on Tasha's um, right. fame. Because I was wondering, I was like, but I for don't Tasha, think even I'm Tiwa guessing, doesn't really have because that. Because the question you're asking now or what you're talking about, I can't, nobody can really answer that question. But personally, I feel like it probably has to do with her originality and her story that people knew before mm. she got mm. into the house. Like before she got into the house, Tasha was a hustler. Like she she sells everything and anything on her page, even and to, even if she has to twerk, yeah. she and even if she has to twerk to sell it, she will do whatever yeah. it takes to make that sales. And she took that spirit into the house and was able to talk about it as well in the house. And maybe people saw a bit of their, themselves in her, whereby you know you are hustling, you are doing a lot, you've not really gotten that big break yet. Because I, I mean, when you look at Tatcha before she entered the house, she had like two hundred thousand followers at mm -hmm. the time, and she was the kind of person people would look up to, and you expect that you have one celeb vibe and all that but she still came and was so real and said i've still not made it i'm trying to sell everything possible to make sure that the bottom line is complete you know so maybe a lot of people saw that realness and how you can actually work and work and work in this country oh we just and like still, the maybe, head stories we like course, that, thing. that, that, that same, that's the same well. thing that's trending with lick we you. like that or oh, somebody came from Poverty, nothing and it's, mm -hmm, we really like that as well Hmm. So, and then I think um, Tatcha also gave us two each records. We can't forget that. Uh, backing up, Chihuahua, <laughs> that's one. And Kilo, she Tatcha You know, right. so, yes. I, I prefer the backing dog Chihuahua one. Yeah, that, 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 one. That, that one is. But very uh, derogatory, uh, and mm. Zlatan apologized. Mm. And, um, well, he apologized. Yeah, he helped, yeah, helped, even helped the whole thing of like they're coming for you yeah. and you know your haters, but we will stand with you and help even you. Even after succeed. Uti's apology yesterday, somebody was like, Zlatan <laughs> has apologized. Um, Uti has is apologized. They are waiting for one more person. I can't remember now for the life of me. Maybe but it has to be Jaruma. No, Maybe. not Jeremiah. Someone else insulted, um, and they are waiting for that person's apology as well. Back so in the Chihuahua. <laughs> it's time for a big break. <laughs> it's a big break. It's time for a quick break. Amen. But when we come back, we'll definitely continue our conversation. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Still make music and people are still buying. Sometimes they look myself minimal. Are you? music is for mature-minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi. Like, what? <laughs> 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 
Welcome back. This is still tea time on Plus TV Africa. There is a 99% chance that any story you see online about Yoruba men cheating is fake news. And this is coming from Big Brother Nigeria Reality TV star Leo Da Silva. AKA Yoruba Boy. Yeah. Please, uh. when you hear that this Yoruba man has become a billionaire, it's not fake news. So. <laughs> He's <laughs> talking about cheating now. <laughs> of course yeah. I know. But I'm just saying. But, mm, but you guys I, cheat though. What? Yoruba men. All men ah. cheat. Mm. Women lie, men lie. Yeah, but but you're you're yeah, Yoruba men. men lie. Potato, potato. Oh, heavy. You can't say no. Is it born? It's you in can't. it. You can't say that. You can't say you that. Can't Why can't say I say that? that? You can't, can't say. You can't, can't generalize it. Uh, can't you can't. Can't. Okay, from what he's saying here, yeah, what I picked, Igbo girls cheat. How about whatever. that? Whatever. What I picked from <laughs> hey, what he's saying whatever. is about the fact that a lot of people just sit down in their house behind their keypads, whether it's on their system <clears> or their phones, and cook up stories that they know will trend mm. and put it online there. So it's, there's a possibility that most of the stories you read online are not even true because I've seen it. I've seen where people cook this story and put it out there. Really? It, yes, babe. Like mm. a lot of it. it are happens. you calling people that talk yeah. about um, Yoruba men as Joro? Okay, we are going far now. I don't want lost with them. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying is, Check I can the get it from effect. that angle. Mm -hmm. But if he's trying to say that that is not his angle and that he thinks that all the story, um, that it, there is no possibility of it happening, and Yoruba men don't, men, I mean, don't cheat. Nah, fam, I don't believe that. You guys are just the worst. Personal experience, I haven't, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been able to, um, you know, confidently say that. This character of cheating is per tribe. Mm. I've seen it work mm. wonders Thank across you. board. Yeah. But there is the something about, I think it's because the kind we of live. Cheating. <laughs> this is even where I'm going. I feel like it's because we live in Lagos. Mm -hmm. mm. And Lagos is a Yoruba Latinized mm. um, city. So that even if there's influx of girls, they're still dating Lagos bred people mm, who are brought up. associated to the exactly mm. that have drank the Yoruba, Yoruba water mm. so i feel like maybe that's Whatever. where that's coming from but to say that other tribes don't do that and i've met quite a lot of Yoruba um angels sweet boys yeah sweet sweet sweet, yeah. sweet boys always that sweet are no but let's not take let's be clear okay. they are always sweet thank you is it sweet thank you it was always always <laughs> sweet though even I feel, I feel, I feel, even I feel like even men, even men, even men might not be sweet money. in the sense of sweet. I'm not talking about money now. Yes, they will spoil money. What sweet are you talking about? But you know how, oh, breakfast in bed, all the stuff, they can't <laughs> do it for you. But as they are finishing that, you carry your bag and you're going, the next person is going to call your own sweetness. Mm. <laughs> okay, okay. But I think I, I, your, your, well, your Yoruba men are not to be generalized as cheats because right, um, okay. there are a lot of yeah, men that cheat. It is a Lagos culture. I feel like anyone who grew up in Lagos, the chances of you... Um, what's it called inheriting cheating. the cheating behavior is very high yeah even for women as well. yes yeah it's a cheating world here it's almost like <laughs> it's almost like a joke if you say that you don't cheat or if you don't think in that manner the only time the only time i think i've ever had um that i've ever cheated no sex <laughs> when i'm in a relationship i can count it on my fingertip and that, that you've cheated yeah I you can, can count, count it. it yeah i can i can actually. is that a good thing i'm confused my nigga yeah, and <laughs> I'm confused. Like, is that a good I, I, thing? No, I could count it like it's not a lot. So, is it ha, not in a relationship? This is wild to me. I'm not supposed to be doing it at all. What? I don't understand. So, because you yeah, can count but, on your but, fingers. But, you but, 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 but we should, we should have a like, story. Some effect. There's a story hey, behind so it. Lua, I forgot to mention as well. They don't see what they are doing as anything bad. Aside from no, no, no. That's so why you're bigger out. than not letting me land. Well, you can count so, it six wait. or seven times. No, it's just. With one girl, it's, three it's, girls. How many girls? It's just twice. So, the reason why I brought up that story is because. Before my current girlfriend would, would my love very, very much. Okay, you know what? You hold on to that story. Let's go on a very quick break. <laughs> when we come back, if Olu or Shukaya will finish this story, Maybe but we not. have to go on this break. You will know. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide that every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, yeah. A Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die. Everybody feeling alright. I can still 
make music and people are still buying. I look myself minimal are you? Mm. music is for mature-minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! <laughs> Welcome back. Behind the scene is something else, but if you want to carry on with your story. Okay, so um, I was saying, before my current girlfriend, whom I love very much, the first girl I ever loved mm -hmm. that i ever <laughs> ever <laughs> truly loved uh -huh. i lost her she's married now mm -hmm. i lost her because i cheated and mm -hmm. that taught me a lesson and mm -hmm. because of that i rather not be when i know that i'm in that vibe of you know jumping around mm -hmm. i rather not be in a relationship mm -hmm. do you understand but once i'm in a relationship i'm committed would you forgive your now girlfriend that you love so much if she cheated it's difficult for men to forgive cheating mm. we've been don't answer before. the question for yourself this is not about men would i forgive her i guess i will but will i forget no mm. use it to haunt her for the so. rest of your life mm -hmm. okay Leo, your back. defense has worked though they've defended the urban men they are nice people they are not the only ones that cheat but they mm -hmm. cheat I mean? mm. moving on um <clears throat> so based on giveaways I think Sam Clef has picked his favorites between Yahoo Boys and Nigerian politicians. He said Yahoo Boys are far better than Nigerian politicians. They help people, even support people they don't know who are politicians help. Well, who fried this man's left brain? brain. Maybe it's just working. It's on not his one. left, though. I think all of the it. Old, I mean, he was able to type or something. I don't know. <laughs> give him that. Something I, has to be working. You know, yet. like I'm so confused. <laughs> with this man i'm really 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 confused i don't know i'm praying to god almighty that this is a deliberate stunt to grab really attention yeah. yes then i will even admire your, your your genius for being this stupid but this statement makes no sense whatsoever first of all it's even fundament fundamentally trash for you to be supporting such an ill bad whatever secondly the general the generalization of this statement reeks of of ignorance and and, and, and illiteracy how can you speak for every single year, year old boy that they help people? A lot of those people don't help people. It's some people. And you can say the same thing for politicians. Either way, why are you spending so much time arguing whether or not, um, you know, whether thieves are better than... Better than, than that. Yeah, it makes, <laughs> Thank it, it, it makes no sense. <laughs> Thank you. I think you've said everything. I think this is a very stupid post because there's no justification for fraud, right. internet fraud, um, whatever it is. There is no justification for that. It's like saying, oh, the slave masters did well because yeah. they gave us jobs. They taught us how to pick cottons. They taught us how to pick cottons. They taught us how to... Do you understand? We yeah. can also make excuses for slave masters. Right. But does it make it right? No. So this post is absolutely stupid. I think mm. we need to start to... Um, give people, especially people with influence, some type of kin after after they say something like this, because this or type maybe of, just pay them less attention, or pay Instagram to block them for a few months, or mm. something. You need some type of punishment, mm. especially when it yeah. comes to fraud in Nigeria. It's becoming too rampant that people are feeling comfortable to back up something that is so vile yeah. and so wicked. I'm also like, guessing it wasn't like this before. I'm guessing he's part of those when the conversation between Simi and Aramali gang, that period. Mm. I'm guessing he's definitely part of those that we're saying uh, we're collecting what they, they, they took us, from us. What they took from us. Mm. So it's nothing wrong. I'm guessing that's where his mindset is. And I'm hoping that, like you said, this is a joke. And even if it's a joke, when it's coming from somebody with this level of influence, it's no longer a joke. It's not nice because there are people who listen to you, who do things because mm. you endorse it mm. yeah. so if you don't understand the responsibility you mm. hold by gathering all the number of followers you're gathering it's then worrying that's a to problem. me it's worrying to me because all these benefit boys benefit babes um um conversations like this i think what's happening is that you're you're normalizing yes fraud. it's even happening in my mind now the mm. way so many people are talking about it if i hear that maybe somebody passed i'm like oh my gosh that's a really nice car wherever i say oh i say oh boy that i know even myself i'm like like it's a normal yeah like now. it's a tra it's like a occupation or something i'm okay. oh, let's go to my friend's house the yeah, oh boy. Boy. yeah like, and you go be, like it's a usually yeah, I yeah, like it's a doctor thing. you yes. get it like, usually yeah. it's something that used to be really coded even runs babes it used to be really coded that like, we would speculate that that's your side hustle this one is my front hustle you even have a business card that you're like <laughs> 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 uh, no, a I lot of them I'm not, I'm hide behind cryptocurrency nowadays, mm. so they say. But there uh, are legit cryptocurrency buyers. Yeah, yeah I said a lot of them hide, hide behind. 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 Mm. And restaurant owners, and no, there's a lot of things musicians, mm -hmm. musicians, mm. to, to be precise. It's okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Say that. Mm. Please don't come for me. 
Well, no, we were just stating the obvious. Mm -hmm. Have you interviewed any of them? I haven't, no. I okay, haven't. you haven't. That is a okay. Yahoo boy? Yeah. Um, do you know? Uh -uh. Do you know that when you see <laughs> No, them? no, I'm trying to understand now because what is uh -huh. it? You know, we need to make this clear for Please, people. That's I have, our job. I don't know. If I have, I didn't know that that's what they were doing. <laughs> <laughs> in case they cast tomorrow, <laughs> they will not be like the video of Tita <laughs> on Twitter. I, I wasn't them. aware. No one said this is what I do for a living. They told yeah. me they sing and they dance and yeah. rap. And we enjoy the music. Mm -hmm. And that's the only like, reason why they sit eh. on the table. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Justified. Moving on. Actor Anthony Rapp sues Kevin Spacey for Kevin Spacey for sexual misconduct he was accused in a civil lawsuit on wednesday of sexual assault and battery in the 1980s by the actor and a second person only identified as cd when both plant plaintiffs were about 14. rap alleged um, in the lawsuit that spacey engaged in an unwanted sexual advance with him when he was 14 during a party at spacey's home in 1986 um, the second person alleged that he and spacey had um Oral and anal sex and engage in other sexual acts on several locations in the early 1980s when the plaintiff was approximately 14 years old. Both men are seeking unspecified damages for emotional distress. I don't understand. This rap case, I thought it was a rap already because mm. um, he came out and then the case was dropped. Mm. Is he re No, this is not the one that was dropped. This is, this is more... This is this is more people adding to yeah, this what is rap word. Ad Yeah, set. basically. Oh, okay. So they're also coming out to say... So it's a class action suit now? I guess so. I guess you can call it... If you have more than three people, mm. then you can say that. He uh, clearly has a problem. Okay. What, but are they all seeking damages differently? I, I think so. So it's not together. It's not class it's not yet. To they have not come class. together. They have to come class. together. Yeah, right. to be each class. of them, right. Yeah, they're seeking damages differently. Then Emotional class. distress, mm -hmm. okay whatever that means um either ways this person has come out several times to the rap guy yeah no spacey now okay to deny allegations um that was when he came out of the closet when rap came out yes he denied allegations then came out of the closet either ways i i think it's very it's for me i'm a lot more comfortable now to say that he did have a a problem sometimes mm. your your interactions with your sexuality especially even being gay, especially when you are hidden yes it, it comes out mm. as very perverted if you don't believe in yourself and love yourself and it's not just about being gay even being straight sometimes people don't like themselves and it comes out really perverted and i think he had that issue you'd be very surprised that even in such a world like america where people are liberal it's still hard to come out and accept yourself Definitely. and feel mm. loved and mm. have that support and everything so i'm not saying i understand he came out only in 2017 exactly. so imagine being and gay it's been all happening your in life the 90s. 61 exactly so i can imagine i'm not trying to justify anything yeah. but i can imagine the type of turbulence that is going on in his mind and how that could be executing itself as, as as abuse but whatever it is he has committed a lot of offenses to a lot of people and i will stand behind the law for him to get the persecution that he that is needed this person's case for me was a lot more straightforward because there was evidences for that even though it was backed um before so I'm, i want to see what happens yes, with this evidences from 1980 yes apparently amazing mm -hmm. so let's see how it goes and obviously his career is done and he will be fine it's really unfortunate that people use their position to uh, perpetrate crimes especially um sexual harassment and stuff like that or sexual assaults but i just wish our celebrities could do a whole lot better with their positions mm. than but this person we're talking you know, about was he at that people. position in 1986 because if you're looking at it then he'll probably Spacey, be at kevin spacey, something. Kevin spacey even, has even been in the scene but he's i don't know how how big. popular maybe not he was. as yeah. big as yeah. as presently mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. he's always been big but he still yeah. perpetrated crimes even as kevin spacey mm -hmm. uh, well allegedly yeah. he still made crimes even when he became a celebrity so I think apart from what's it called, cr um, criminal law being given to him, I think he also needs help, like psychological help yeah, as well, to yeah. really help his... Okay. Well, like the House of Cards, we'll see how this plays out. <laughs> okay, so um, send your opinions as usual via WhatsApp to 90 or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. My thank you as always to go to Michael Ankers, Ife Omai, and Ife Oluwashunkeye, yes, and the entire production team. Thank you for watching. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay safe.